Come one, come all. I'm the chief, which is Sabrina. Come with me into a land far away. Sabrina, <laughs> let's play. Hello, my lovelies. So today, remember to be in moderation. Is there anything that you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthy. Although, the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. So guys, it's okay to eat that donut. It's okay to eat whatever it is, even though you have that guilt. Just don't overindulge in it. Tell your body before you eat that donut or whatever it is, or you have that cigarette, say, I'm only going to have one. I'm only going to have one. And ask your angels for the strength to let you only have that one or two, whatever. You only live once, right? All right. So, guys, I want you to be honest with yourself. Speak up when you have something to share. You are no longer fearful of what other people cannot handle. If someone talks to you rudely, you go, whoa. Put your hand out. Whoa. Um, no, you will not be talking to me like that. That is not okay. These people are energy vampires. They are trying to start fights with you on purpose to get you to react. So your affirmation for the day is calmness washes over me with every deep breath I take. So remember to take those deep breaths from down in your lungs like I showed you before in the other video. Also a good thing for you to do today would be to sit outside, pick a quiet place in a park or under a tree Sit quietly and observe the world around you. Try to engage every sense. Notice the people, the colors, the grass, the smells in the air, and the wind on your face. You're like, it's cold outside where I am. I mean, where I am, it's not cold. But where you are, it might be cold. So you're like, I don't want to sit outside. So maybe just sit in a quiet spot and meditate and envision being in a nice nature-filled spot, huh? Something to do to raise your karma today and to make you feel good is tell somebody that they look beautiful today. Maybe your waitress or the person at the store. Tell them, wow, your hair looks amazing or you look beautiful or I really like your shirt or something like that. Because guys, it makes them feel really good and maybe they're having a really bad day too. Or... No, not or. And it makes you feel good, too, watching their face light up. It's so amazing. I um, saw this thing on Facebook yesterday. And guess what, guys? I don't believe in coincidence because there's so many things that lead up to the same thing. Just like all the cards just fall perfectly. Don't you think that's strange? Whew. Like, something leads up to something more right like I saw that post on Facebook and then now I need to tell you guys about it and I did post something about it too for my friends it's like I get so angry when I'm standing behind someone at Walmart or wherever and they're being mean to the cashier oh my god I can't believe your prices are so high it's like dude the prices are not picked by the person who works here. They're just somebody trying to make ends meet. They probably make less than you. And you just want to talk down and be rude to them because they make less than you? Do you think that God thinks that... Do you think that God doesn't see that? Like, do you really? This one time, this girl, this guy in front of me, he's pissed off because he's late for work. And... She's like basically almost in tears because he's yelling at her about the prices. Like, yes, all this price hikes really suck. Paying $23 for a box of 60 eggs sucks. But it's not her fault. She didn't pick the prices where she works, right? No, it's not her fault. And if somebody like spills, I'm seeing a waitress maybe spilled your coffee. Yeah, that's shitty. That sucks. But she didn't do it on purpose. Maybe she was having a bad day. Maybe somebody she loves just died. You know, instead of getting angry, try putting yourself in their shoes. Give them a little bit of empathy and be like, all right, hey, honey, are you having a bad day? You know, when I go to a restaurant, I always make sure to put 
everything on my plate when I'm done and to try and clean up as best I can with five kids, you know, and I always give them a tip for cleaning up after us. But, you know, you got to think, is she having a bad day? Maybe she just lost somebody. Maybe she just broke up with somebody. Maybe she's in pain. What's wrong with her that's making her be so sad and so stumbly? And when that guy that I was telling you about at Walmart stopped yelling at my poor cashier, I told her, don't, she's like, I'm so, so sorry. And because something happened, like she didn't have, something happened for me too. Like she didn't have something and she had to call the manager over just like she did with that guy. Because, you know, they change their system all the time, guys. They have to learn them too. Everybody has to learn. Nobody is born knowing everything. So be nice to people. It really pays to be nice to people. So anyway, so she had to call over the manager. And then she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so, so sorry. Almost in tears because that guy in front of me was so rude. And I'm like, don't you be sorry. That guy was a dick. You didn't deserve that. I was like, I can see that you're going through something. She's like, yes, I am. And she starts crying. And she's like... My son just died. Her son just died and that guy was a dick. Did he ever say, huh, maybe she's just learning or, huh, maybe something's going on with her. How the hell would anybody else feel if their child just died? I couldn't imagine that pain and I wouldn't want to. Sorry guys, I'm all emotional now. <laughs> Anyway, so it pays to be nice to people. Be nice to people. It helps them and it helps you. And it makes God or source or your angels or whatever it is you believe in, your passed on loved ones, it makes them smile when you do an act of kindness. Just something as simple as telling someone, you look beautiful today. You know, I went to Arby's with my kids to get my mother a shake. And I made sure I told the girl, I said, wow, I love your hair. You look really beautiful today. And you should have seen the way her light just shined. She just smiled so brightly. And I could tell that I made her day. I could also tell that she was having a crappy day. These people are just trying to make a living. Don't be mean to people because they work at Arby's or McDonald's or Walmart because guess what? Your children are going to grow up and have to get a job like that. So maybe if you're nice to yours and we teach our children that it's good to be nice to people, then maybe when your children grow up or your grandchildren grow up and get a job at McDonald's, Maybe they'll have someone that comes in there and sees that they're having a hard time or a bad day and they'll treat them with respect. There was this one kid. I lived in a trailer park when I was young. And he just would always call me trailer trash. He would always pick on me. And then one day I just got sick of it and I threw him into the locker and I screamed in his face. And I told him, you know... The only reason that I am poor and you are rich is because your parents made it that way. But maybe you won't be that lucky. Maybe you won't have that much money when you grow up. Maybe you'll have to work your ass off for it. I told him, so stop calling me trailer trash or I'll show you what trailer trash really can do. And I pushed him really hard into the locker. That's all I remember, guys. I was like in, gosh, a freshman maybe? But he'd been picking on me forever, and I got just sick of it. So just remember, karma comes around. You can be rich today and poor tomorrow. Did you know half the people that win the lottery become millionaires? They also end up bankrupt or dead. Be careful what you wish for. You like, I wish I was rich. And then, oh my gosh, I'm rich now. I can go buy this, that, and the other thing. I can have everything I want. And then it comes time to pay the piper and you ain't got the money. Because you spent the money on everything. Because you didn't put it away. Because you weren't smart about it. Or you develop some sort of addiction. And because you have the money, 
you can afford to buy any and every drug that you want and you end up dead. You know what I mean? So be careful what you wish for. And be careful how you treat people because today you might be up high on that pedestal. Tomorrow, karma might knock the pedestal out from under you and then there you are. Like look at our military. My grandfather that passed away, he had a lot of money. He retired from the Air Force and he had this big life insurance policy. And then the government came in and took it away. And literally they're like, you can have $20,000 now, but you can't have life insurance or something like that. Anyways, and they screwed him. A lot of our military comes home from fighting for us and because they are broken, they end up with minimum wage jobs or living on the street. Our veterans, that maybe something that they did in that war protected us. Maybe it was the one thing that kept our dominoes from falling. And they're treated with so much disrespect. A lot of our veterans don't get proper health care. A lot of our veterans fought for our freedom, for our safety, and yet they get treated like trash. Do you know what I do every time I see someone and I know they're in the military because they're in a military uniform or they have a hat that says, you know, U.S. Army veteran or something like that. Me and my boys go up to them and we say, thank you for your service. And a lot of them are kind of shocked, like, wow, I can't believe somebody actually said that to me. This person gave their life for you. They risked their life. They took a bullet for you. You know, people are out here saying, no one would ever take a bullet for me. Our military takes a bullet for you every day. All right? If I see a police officer, I say thank you for your service because if it wasn't for a police officer, I may have died the night that my ex decided that he was going to choke me and break my face. These people put their life on the line for us. So let's be nicer to them, huh? Let's be nicer to our waitress. Maybe she's having a bad day. Just next time and realize that when you get triggered and angry at these people, it's actually something within you that needs to be healed probably a childhood wound. So the next time someone spills your coffee or doesn't ring you up fast enough, don't get angry with them. Instead, be compassionate and empathetic and be like, hey, it's okay. It's all right, are you new? Are you learning? Everybody has to learn. Are you having a bad day? Because you don't know, maybe their child just died. Maybe they just broke up with somebody they really, really loved. Maybe they just got the news that they're going to be losing someone. Maybe they just got the news that they are dying. You don't know what other people are going through. So treat people with respect that they deserve. Because if you treat people like crap and then you say, but I'm a Christian or I'm a Catholic or whatever, well, last I checked in your Bible, it doesn't say that God sh says, put everybody down. People pick their own life. Let them live it. If someone is gay and you don't agree with that, well, okay, don't agree with it. But it doesn't mean you have to hate on them. You don't understand why they're gay. You don't understand their feelings. You don't walk in their shoes. If they are gay... More power to them. Let them be happy. My vet is gay. And his wife works there too. And I love them both to death. He's the best vet ever. 
ever. If it wasn't for him, my puppies might have died, you know? So, yes, guys. Let's, let's try to be nicer to people. Let's try not to walk around and give other people wounds to go home and cry about. I've been that person that was, you know, I was a hostess at a casino restaurant and the guy wanted to sit there and yell at me because he just, he's like, I should get to eat for free. I just blew a hundred thousand dollars in your casino downstairs. I said, all right, sir, I understand that you're angry, but you don't get to eat for free. I'm sorry you blew a hundred thousand dollars downstairs. I felt like saying, dude, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just put that $100,000 in savings? Why would you sit there and blow $100,000 and then get mad at me because you lost? In a casino, the people that win are the casino. I worked in one, and trust me, that is the truth. So anyways, don't take your anger out on somebody that doesn't deserve it. Breathe. Maybe you have something to heal. And remember, you're not perfect. You have skeletons in your closet, too. Maybe you don't even know about some of them. A lot of our childhood wounds, we don't know about. But I don't want this video to be too long, guys. So look in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful as well. Good morning, beautiful. How did you sleep? Is there anything that you would like me for, to do for you right now? Is you? Look at yourself in the mirror and say, good morning, beautiful. Good afternoon, beautiful. Is there anything that you need right now? Is there anything that I can help you with? Talk to yourself as if you were someone you love. If your child or your husband or your wife or your mother or whoever is down, you would say, is there anything I can help you with? At least a decent person would. I don't know. I've never had someone that's like, oh, I see you're crying. What's wrong? Is there anything I can help you with? I've, I've had, I see you're crying. What did I do? Why are you crying? I'm crying because of this. No, 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 no. You don't have a right to cry about that. Yes, I do. I feel sad and I'm allowed to cry. And depression is not being sad about one thing. Like if somebody dies and you're sad, yes, you're sad. But depression is different. Depression is this overwhelming sadness that just takes over your body. And you just get so angry and sad. And you have this anxiety. And everything comes up at once. It's like a volcano erupting inside of your mind. And you don't know what to do. You want to get out of bed. You want to be a good person. But you just cannot give yourself the mental capacity to pull yourself out of that bed. You can't give yourself the mental capacity to do the dishes today. So just try to get out of that bed. If you're depressed, get out of that bed. Tell yourself, good morning. What do you need? Now, what does he need? What does she need? What does, what does everybody else want? No. What do you need? What do you want? You need a hug? Hug yourself. If no one else will hug you. If you have children, go ask them for a hug. Even my 16-year-old will still give me a hug. If you don't have anyone, hug your animal. Hug yourself. Rub your own back. Tell yourself you're beautiful. If you're like, what do I need today? Today we need to stay in bed. Today we want to watch TV all day. Today we want to order takeout. It's okay. In moderation. It's okay to stay in bed for a day or two or whatever. It's okay to eat that donut if that's the only thing that makes you feel better. We just don't want to stay in the darkness forever. All right, guys? So this 
definitely became longer than I wanted. I was trying to make a short. I just couldn't because your angels, your guides, your higher self, they wanted you to know much more than a short has in it. So if you guys stayed for the whole thing, please give me a like so I know, hey, I watched the whole thing. And if you're new here, thank you for being here. I do readings all the time. This is my self-love journey because we have realized that our energy is like venom. And if venom is happy, we get to be happy. And if you're like, who the heck is venom? Venom is a movie. <laughs> Actually, I think it started as a comic book. I don't really know, but Venom gets really angry when he's hungry. And, you know, he has a lot of feelings just like your energy. Lately, my guides have been making me feel things. Like I dropped my phone outside because I was going for a walk with my children around our property. And so I had to go out there and I had to walk the three acres and I had to literally find it and of course it was where we started skipping <laughs> anyways but my angels were like feel it don't call it feel it you'll feel where is it where is it where is it and I did my energy talked to me and showed me exactly where my phone was in a three acre property that's not a coincidence your energy talks to you. Are you really happy and then someone comes into the room and then all of a sudden you feel angry or sad? There's a reason. There's a reason your energy doesn't like that person, that's all. So, yeah guys, so I'm um, sorry I got to talking again. So I love you guys. Love yourself today. Look at yourself in the mirror. Last night before I got in the shower, I literally stood naked in the mirror and stared at myself for five minutes. And you know what I seen? I didn't focus on my flaws. I didn't say, oh, look at my stretch marks. Those stretch marks are warrior wounds. They carried my babies. Do I love them? Hell no. Of course I don't love the way they look on my body, which, but I didn't focus on those. I focused on other parts of me. I complimented myself. Look at that. You have really nice thighs. You have really nice this. You have really nice that. I want you guys to compliment yourself. If you're not ready to stand naked in the mirror and compliment yourself, that's okay. And if you see things that are wrong, Look at that problem area and say, you know what? Today's the day I'm going to fix that. Today's the day I'm going to start walking. Today's the day I'm going to eat healthy. Today's the day I'm going to start keto or fasting or work out or whatever because you are beautiful. Inside and out. And only you can love you right. Only you can say, I don't want to be here no more. If you're in a situation where you're like, you feel like you're sitting in the middle of a fire, being burned, only you can pull you out of that fire, sweetheart. Only you can save your life or decide if you're going to drown. Either way. Love yourself enough to pull yourself out of a situation that makes you angry today. If you feel angry today, be like, I'm leaving. And they're like, no, you have to stay. No, I don't. I'm going to go take a walk. I'm going to go get some air. Do you want me to come? No. I feel very angry with you right at this moment. My energy is pushing you away like two magnets that you're trying to pull together and they just will not stick. So I'm going to go. Because I love me enough to not keep myself here and drown. Alright guys, I love you. I hope that this helped you. I didn't mean for it to be so long. I was actually going to try and make a short, but your guides wanted it to be longer. They had many messages to tell you. So, love yourself today. 
And remember, this is a journey, not a destination. And we are working our way back into love. We are working our way back into divine perfect love within ourself. Because only when we are in divine perfect love within ourself can we be in divine perfect love with someone else. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to join my YouTube family and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love you guys.